Well, it's another Sunday and welcome to the Global Weather and Climate Report edition 43. Hope everybody is well and enjoying the bank holiday weekend. This is the global two meter temperature normally for the month so far. Of course, we have uh, only a couple of days left of the month and uh, this is how it's looking uh, across the planet. Plenty of areas of cool versus one very standout warm area which is across uh, most of North America as you can see here. A large swathe of South America is actually uh, quite considerably warmer than average as well. I don't know whether that may be the uh, a bit of a reflection of the developing El Nino over the eastern portion of the Pacific of course. That very strong warming up against the South American coast could be having some feedback to a warmer South America compared to average. In stark contrast on the other side of the Pacific we've got a very cool Australia, as you can see here, India and Pakistan remaining cooler than average, which is interesting given that it is the hottest time of the year here. Uh, a good swathe of northern portions of uh, of the north of Africa uh, below average, southern Europe below average, and most of Europe, in fact, mainland Europe anyway, is below average, uh, warmer than average across the UK. Greenland is cooler than average, which is interesting as well, and even a large swathe of Antarctica is below average. So. To me, it looks a bit of a kind of 50-50 with regards to warm versus cool across the planet. I, I'm actually just about to head off to making the long journey from just above Inverness down to Kilmarnock today. I'm going to be attending the Kilmarnock versus Ross County game, and it's, it's all to play for with regards to avoiding the playoffs in the Scottish Premier League. So um, it is a bit of a short video today, so I do apologise for that. Um, but I would rather get a video done at least as opposed to not and keep up the, the sundry tradition of the Global Weather and Climate Report, of course. So let's get into the the uh, the facts, the details, what's going on uh, around the world over the past week or so. And it's a lot of it is about the heat across the Arctic region of Russia and Norway with temperatures as high as 25 Celsius, including uh, a 24.9 at Murmansk, way up in the north of uh, of Russia, which is quite interesting here. Um, and what's actually quite interesting about that is that we're seeing the first, I think it was just yesterday, the first uh, 25 Celsius in Paris this year so far. And to get such a reading this late in the season, you have to go all the way back to 1983, the last time Paris did not see 25 until the 27th of May. So that is quite interesting given the fact that way up you know, north of the Arctic Circle, we're seeing temperatures above 25 Celsius. Isn't it amazing how the, the weather and, and even climate works, I suppose? Of course, you have to be careful, um, you know, correlating weather versus climate, of course, climate being weather over a long period of time. But uh, isn't it just fascinating how, uh, you know, the distribution of heat rainfall versus drought etc etc look at spain for example massive turnaround here versus what we've seen in the last couple of years in across many portions of, of iberia this was a, a super typhoon mawar now i do believe the pressure dropped close to 900 millibars, millibars uh, wind speeds in excess of a uh, 200 uh, miles per hour in terms of gusts anyway and this was the scene captured by James Reynolds, a storm chaser based <coughs> over the West Pacific. And this was out of Guam a few days ago. So pretty impressive uh, scenes uh, captured by James, of course, within Typhoon Mawar. We are seeing uh, record-breaking temperatures in the highlands of South Africa as well. Temperatures as high as 33.3. We are um, also seeing stifling heat on the northern side of the, the continent as well. 47 degrees uh, Celsius recorded in northern Chad. Ties the, the Chad national record for May once again. It's, uh, it's already achieved that. Temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius in, in Costa Rica. More exceptional warmth uh, across northern portions of uh, of um of Russia. Uh, we are also seeing an update on the uh, Solar Cycle 25. These are, of course, tweets by our friend Maximiliano Herrera, based in Costa Rica. Extreme temperatures around the world. Well, well worth a follow if you are on Twitter and you're interested in global climate statistics and weather statistics. 
This month of May is seeing a rise in sun activity after a drop between February and April. Um, average solar flux is hovering between 155.7 and uh, 100. So um, a little bit over my head, if I'm being honest, but just updating the fact that we are seeing a rise in solar activity versus a bit of a drop off in the last couple of months. Pakistan temperatures into the, the 47, 49 Celsius range, which is expected at this time of the year. You would typically expect to see temperatures in the hottest areas of Pakistan reach 50 Celsius at this time of the year. Of course, back in May 2010, I believe uh, the temperature rose to 53, or above 53 Celsius. So pretty incredible stuff. Uh, it just shows you how hot it can get. Again, more uh, record-breaking warmth across Russia. Temperatures further south in Russia, into the 30s actually in recent days, which is pretty incredible stuff. Here's another amazing capture by the University of Madison of a uh, super typhoon Mawar. Isn't that just remarkable? Um, terrifying at the same time, of course. Um. So th the third rainy month in a row for Ethiopia um, after the longest drought in history. Soil is mainly humid now except from, for northern and eastern areas. Floods uh, were reported in parts of Ethiopia and Somalia in the past few weeks. So the ongoing drought situation looks as if it's easing in parts of Ethiopia. That could be down to the Indian Ocean Dipole, of course. So yeah, um, this was the flood scene across parts of Spain in the last couple of days here. Again, looking at the heat across Russia, parts of South America, seeing temperatures into the high 30s. Yeah, just skipping through this, I do apologise for that. The heat in Canada today, 32 Celsius in parts of Ontario, uh, even Mont in Manitoba, of course, where it has been pretty hot, especially across western areas. Probably the, the worst heat wave um, in recorded history for parts of Alberta for the month of May at least. Temperatures into the high 30s in parts of British Columbia and Alberta in the last couple of weeks. Pretty incredible stuff. More cold to report across not just the uh, eastern portions but also western portions of Australia. We're seeing re um, you know, record breaking cold temperatures actually into the minus double digits of course. Uh, you know We're well now approaching the winter season of course in this part of the world. Bangkok, incredible temperatures. For the month of May so far, the average monthly temperature has been 33.3 Celsius. Nighttime temperatures struggling to get below 30 Celsius. Daytime temperatures approaching 40 Celsius. And bearing in mind, this is a very humid part of the world. I've been in Bangkok and it's just incredible how humid as well as hot it is. So the, the conditions here for these many millions of people must be pretty remarkable, actually, to have days of 40, nights of 30, and real field temperatures as high as 55 Celsius. Even in your typical kind of more pleasant climate, albeit humid, in the central portion of the Indian Ocean, the Maldives recording uh, temperatures um, of record breaking levels of 34.6 Celsius, highest temperatures on record for the month of May in the country, of course. And uh, yeah, pretty stifling stuff considering uh, you've got that vast ocean surrounding. It, it typically tempers the level of heat that is uh, able to be achieved. And of course, like I say, the first temperatures of mid 30s in parts of, uh, of southern France. But the first 25 recorded in Paris in, in the last couple of days, of course, that is the first time so far. Nighttime temperatures in Oman, by the way, no lower than 35 Celsius. Uh, southeastern half of the United States you would expect it to be um, heating up at this time of the year. But we actually had, interestingly enough, Savannah, Georgia, right on the coastline, had one of the coldest temperatures anywhere in the lower 48. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I believe the high was only 61 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 16 Celsius. Well, well, well below the average for this time of the year, of course. So pretty impressive stuff actually seeing that. And of course, the record breaking heat uh, is now easing across parts of, uh, of western and northwestern uh, parts of Canada. Very cool temperatures across parts of Australia as well. 
So a short and sweet um, global weather and climate report today. So I do appreciate you watching, of course. Please like, please share with your friends and family and do indeed hit that subscribe button. Of course, you've got the summer forecast now available. I will be releasing my June forecast in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that. Plenty of reason to stick around. I appreciate you watching this early edition and enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Hopefully be back again tomorrow with more. Bye for now.